So here with uh, another app that is Tails the Backbone uh, Prelude. So this is a prelude. If you play the Backbone, you will know how the game is. This is like a prelude of it, and you play with these four characters uh, that you can see over here. And uh, they they change uh, some stuff nowadays. Choice, consequences, and puzzles that can have consequences. Then you like that you cannot have you can have consequences or something like that they explained a uh, bet on steam page how it's gonna work the game this game uh it, it only comes out next year uh they said they they had, i think it's steam page it said that it was this year but they delay it so it is what it is uh but yeah like it's developed by Agnet and published by half fury so let's see here what uh, them asked to offer I played Backbone, it was a pretty cool game, I think the story lost a little bit in the end, but still it was pretty cool, the visuals and stuff like that. Grandpa? Mm. Oh, what is it, Clarissa? Uh, what were you thinking of? Me? Thinking of something? No, no, I was just enjoying the weather, is all. I don't go out for walks as much as I used to, you see? I was thinking of ghosts, do you see them, Grandpa? No, uh, do you walk around? Uh, in Gastown? Well, they said a lot to see here. Do you remember the last time we came here? I've been here before. Once or twice. You were such a little thing back then. About the size of a geezer. And almost as fast. I remember chasing them. I should have known. You'll chase them up and down straight until one of the store owners caught you. What do you think you're doing running around outside my daughter? He said. Uh, I remember it was funny. He was, wasn't he? Sputtering and spattering. So work up and angry, but we talked some sense into him, didn't we? Did you know him, Grandpa? Know him? No, no, he knew me, however, I, and he, well, we have some mutual friends. Oh, mutual means people that I know who know him. Do you understand, Bella? Not. Yes, of course, you have always been a sharp little girl, haven't you? Only Shepard knows who you get from. No one, I'm just Clarice, the only Clarice there is. Uh, I'm gonna say it first. Is that so? And who is this Clarice exactly? Don't be silly, Grandpa, I'm Clarissa. Oh, why not? There's nothing wrong with being silly or every once in a while. In fact, it's a good thing. Uh, I'm not silly, I'm Clarissa. Really, I like my friend's love. I'm gonna say it first. Well, you see, Clarissa, life can be very not silly sometimes 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 it can be can get very serious very grim it's important to not let that get to you i'll try really hard i know you will clarissa i'm sure you'll do fine growing up i'm gonna say it second it takes time that's for sure that's for certain but that's the thing you see time passes all the time even when you aren't looking uh how do you mean grandpa Maybe I'm just getting too old, but it feels like the days pass so quickly now. Yesterday already seems like a week ago. I'm gonna say it second. Ah uh, yes, you are. You'll become even bigger and stronger too. Can I get smaller and stronger? Uh, will I get older too? Yes, but being old isn't so bad. Because you can do anything you want. Ha! <laughs> Is that right? No one told me. You can't fool me, Grandpa. In a way, but there are many things you have to do when you are old too. Not all is fun. Sometimes you have to do body things, I know. That's good, Clarissa. That's very mature of you. Yes, I'm very mature. And you only become smart with age, big, strong and smart. Yes, big Clarissa. Oh, how big Clarissa? Extend your arms. That's big, and maybe you'll even bigger. Uh grandpa, no, that's too big. Of course I should have known. Well, regardless of how big you become, I hope I'll be around to see it. Of course you will, I will visit you every day. Will you fit through the door? If you are so big, I mean... I'll come through the window. Ha, <laughs> of course. Why didn't I think of that? Very clever, Clarissa. No window will be safe. Good, they better watch their butts. Come end of fall, the winds will grow, then twisting branch cause the snow but spring will free what cold held here give a give way give way for one more year look at clarence with confusion ha, forgive me clarice i just remembered something a poem i read long long time ago but it just came back to me just like that 
What made you think of it? The years passing by, Bella. Time itself, I suppose. Tell me, what will you be when you are older? Who do you want to be? Gain trade cunning? Gain trade ambitious? Powerful. Hmm. So, powerful, ambitious, or cunning? Smart people to hear and ambitious. I think I'm going to cunning. Clarence won't forget that. Well, well, I'll say you are halfway there already. I'm on the final lap. Do you know? What if you go too fast and fly off the side? I'll make wings, I'll fly off the side, and even further, even past the wall. Well, whatever you do, Clarissa, don't forget that being smart isn't everything. Knowing things and being right is no substitute for being kind. Your father, well, some people tend to forget that. I won't. Hey, Grandpa, I love you. I love you too, Clarissa, Bella. I couldn't ask for a better grandchild. Now, come on, I think it's time for dinner, shall we? Shrug one last time. I didn't shrug, so let's shrug one time. Tails, the backbone pearl. So over there I gained uh, the trait cunning. Because I chose, of course. So as you can see, now it's different from the backbone. So because I chose cunning, I went through the middle. You aspire to be cunning when you grow up. Uh, it's with arrows. Howard, Clarissa, Ellie... Gene. All right. I don't know uh, what is previous game. Well, what all that means. I know it says previous game. All right, close. I like is that the game is in English, but the loading appears cacicaldo. <laughs> appears in Brazilian. All right. So who we are now? AD interact, okay. You can run with shift, by the way. I don't want to go to the, to the right. So if you play Backbone, Backbone is a great game. I But I, like I said, I think the story lost in the, in the end because what happens to the characters. So. But it was pretty cool. I recommend to, uh, to play. Oh, hey, there, a fresh face. Are you here to study? You are new, right? I never forget the face. I'm Howard, nice to meet you. Well, howdy, Howard. It's, nice, it's so nice to meet you. I'm Wisconsin, and I will be your resident assistant, and your best friend, too, if you want one. Ha <laughs> uh, Could you tell me where my room is? Ha, <laughs> not just yet. Why not? You see, I like to start things off fun with new students. Which means a scavenger hunt. Okay. Whiskers looks incredible grateful. Yay! Alright then, I've hidden two things somewhere in this hallway. One of them is blue, and the other is new. Okay. One is blue, and something is... and the other one is new. A blue piece of paper that says, you found me, don't know what expected. Okay, something blue. I know it needs to be something new. Probably said I have the box, I can't run. It said it was in this hallway, so. It could be over here then, right? I don't know if this is my room. A locker. Let's say it was over here. Something new, there we go. So now I go back and talk to Wisconsin and say, Hey, I found all your stuff. And he's like, Oh my god. You don't stay in these rooms, you stay on the suite. The rich suite. You're gonna have a... Uh, uh, how you say that? Uh, rich accommodation. I don't think it's like that. But 
gotta say like it's that rich accommodation okay i did uh, yeah i saw you find them actually but i didn't want to spoil your fun it was super fun for now you'll be staying at 304 it's all the way okay sounds good oh and your homemates already there so don't be surprised if you see a stranger <laughs> okay so our home will be the last one The T Tadius Rock Faculty of Iris. So this is uh, uh, a school, is what it looks like. By the way, the game is with Unreal Engine 4, in case uh, you want to know. Uh, it's with Unreal Engine 4. Larry. What's up, loser? No. Hey, that box looks heavy. It's fine, I'm very strong. You got it, dude. I was gonna ask if you wanted to put it on. Uh, I don't mind, I'm really strong. Larry really wants you to put that thing down. <laughs> dude, I'm getting tired just looking at you holding that thing. Pick a bunk, put it down, then we'll talk. Alright. <laughs> the guy was getting tired. <laughs> Uh, but you can tell the mattress is somewhat indented on the top bunk. The lower one is flat, but seems slightly thinner. Uh, I'm gonna choose the the top. You got your stand here with the box, okay? Hopefully, it doesn't mind. Hopefully he doesn't mind that I chose the top one. He didn't say nothing, so... Oh, you want a, a top bunk? We can switch. Nah, it's just, it's fine. You are sleeping top bunk from now on, okay. It's fine, like this I can just throw myself onto it when I'm that tired. Perfect. Yeah, man. I'm Larry, by the way. What's up, Larry? Nice to meet you, I well. What do you think so far? The university, the dorm, everything. Oh, did you met, meet the Xcos in the wall? The the right, yeah. I'm gonna say the third one. Yep, we had some activities planned. Scavenger hunter, how was it? It was alright, didn't take long. It was pretty easy, wasn't it? Pretty tricky. Then again, I wasn't carrying a big box when I got here. Let's never talk about the big box. Sure, let's talk about you, man. Tell me about our work. What do you want to know? I don't know, man. How come you are here? What are you already studying? Mom thinks I need education. Oh, you know, the cool shit. Yeah, let's say that. I didn't realize they offered courses in that. Was it hard to get into the program? Too hard, didn't get in, so I'm majoring in photography. Not when you are cool as me. Uh, now I'm gonna say it first. Uh -huh, got it. So, how did you manage? What's your strength? Sarcastic? My immensely impressive physical strength? Social? I just get along with people, I think. Investigative. I'm really smart. Smart man, really smart. I'm gonna say social. Yeah, though, you're pretty funny. I get to feel that I look it out with you as my roommate, homie. Same. Larry seems excited. Fuck yeah! Howie and Larry, roommates extraordinaire. I'm gonna say it first. Alright, alright. Well, I'm here to study, you know what? Why don't you guess? I bet you can't. What are the stakes? Have you had lunch yet? I'm starving. There's a place around the corn here on campus that I want to try. You guess my major and I'm paying. You don't... You pay. Deal? Deal. Sweet, go. Just like that, I don't get to narrow it down. Alright, sure. You can ask one question. Nothing too direct. Are you doing something old or something new? What's your major? Hmm. Do you work with your hands? Not really. Hmm. Theory. The theory of what? Uh, classic arts? Contemporary arts? Graphic design? Fuck. Not graphical design, right? Classic? 
Yeah, I got it. It was classical. Larry's impressed. Ding, ding, ding. You got it, though. Nicely done. Here's to hope that Camp's place isn't too expensive, I guess. It's cool, man. Let's split it. A deal's a deal, man. I'm not gonna let you weasel out of my future pets you lose. So I'm not going to weasel my way out of this one. Suit yourself. Yeah, sure. I'm starving, honestly. You wanna head out straight? Uh, sure. Okay. I got it. Nice. I think it wasn't between the first and second, a classical and contemporary. So I went to that. You chose to be social and you'll have an easier time getting along with people. All right. So probably now it's with another character. Looks like. Yeah. Drinking some tea. That was, of course, stepping high by Bravo. This mark, this mark in their 10th consecutive week at the top of the charts. Tell the stuff. Now, before this DJ signs off for today, it's time for today's stories. Cassie's Perth, Minister of Science, and also today that he will be stepping down from his position after 15 years of service. In a press release, he stated that he was satisfied with work he had done in the past few years and was looking forward to his retirement. I bet he was. Minus retirement plans are tall to roof, as far as I know. Second one, a success grant being chosen and a press release from the headquarters of the Ministry of Science City stated that suitable candidate will be announced within the next week. <laughs> I'm going to say the first one. In other news, local in West End are still healing from the fire that ravaged an entire tenement block last week. Shit, that to remind me, huh? Ravage is right, I went there, there was nothing left but rubble. The fire which claimed a number of lives has been reported as an unfortunate accident as a result of a gas leak. The police department has since stated that they will be investigated other at-risk buildings in the area for similar issues and are asking citizens to cooperate. Uh, I'm gonna say it first. Our thoughts and prayers are with the unfortunate souls lost in the fire. That's all for today. This has been Middays with Madison and next is up. Is next up is Gus and Steelers with Old Blue. Okay. Come on, Gene. The article is waiting for you in your office. Time to work. Sit down for tea. Oh, you need 12 uh, more. I thought it was only for that. Enter kitchen. Ooh. Enter apartment. Okay, let's go for the kitchen then. I'll dust off the goddess light and maybe show the shepherd some love too. Open and close. Of course. You don't pick up nothing. I sure wrap things as soon as I can. It will it it's too beautiful outside to stay in, in the office. You can't run for now. Because you don't run inside the house. Of course. Our lights on to spend energy, of course. Why not? Jokes on you, looks I can't clean your office if you always keep the door locked. Spend, of course, go to the office. Toggle light, of course, pen energy. Why not? Back when we moved the house to right here, the table still has dents I need from where where the typewriter used to be. Oh, spend more energy to uh, increase that bill. Organize shelf. What the mess? I just tidy up. Oh, slept mouse. What to drag and drop items. Oh, it even says what it is. Camera. The books. The plant. I don't know what the hell is that. Probably could pick up the camera put over there, right? There we go. Cool. Uh, Mini game. I think there's no way to fail that. 
Okay, let's go to the office then. All right, I was in the middle of organizing shelves in here. I should take long to hurry on. Hey there, Liz, ready for your meal? There you go, honey. Full already? All right, I'll just leave that there for you, okay? Is that it? You feed the fucking lizard. Organized shelf. Holy shit. Even this one you can move. A clock here. That can be here. There we go. That much better. Of course. Organizing shells. They're easy. Okay, so that's to work. Typewriter. It's easy to work on the term, but I do miss the way a typewriter feels. Don't worry, old friend. I'll come back to you eventually. What the fuck? As far as it goes, it's not the worst. I should try to wrap this up by today. The faster I work, the more lenient you'll be with the edit. Poor look, he still hasn't figured out the terminal terminals. It's more charm if he doesn't. That's if it wasn't hard enough to follow already. So you only that was only to read. Oh, look, she keeps staring at the screen like that, and your eyes will go square. Hey, on. Caring? Look, I didn't hear you get back. Welcome home, babe. Logical, not how it works, and you know that. Hey, on. Driving. Hey, babe, give me one second. Hmm. Driving. I think I'm going to say the fourth. Take your time, take your time. Have you been at the terminal all day? Lucas, shush. Alright, alright, tell me when. Don, thank you for your patience. Psh, so you have been working all day, huh? I'm trying to wrap up the fire case. Yeah, well, how's your business going? Didn't you say your edit guy was asking for it earlier? He wanted something more basic. Uh, I'm gonna say it second. I'm sorry for not being much of reading sort, your highness. Let's not keep Wesley waiting then. Walk me through it. Let's figure it out right now. Where should I start? Let's start at the beginning. Tell me about the fire. There were two cows about it, right? Where did it start? Oh, you can uh, go and check the... in Stone's apartment. And how do you know that exactly? Are you completely sure or are you jumping to conclusions? Ghastly. And you are thinking that it was Stone's apartment, why? Mansion. Lucas is your point. Nice. I see what you are getting at, that's pretty confusing. It's not waterproof, so let's move on. Alright. Hey, I don't know, I need to check. Uh... There's no our oh, fire case. I we'll probably need to go from this. Uh, twelve fifteen is that? Probably it's that twelve fifteen. I wonder if it's that... Mm, it doesn't have that. Before the first call at 11. And how do you know that? Stone already set fire to something in his apartment. 
shit. But the jobs will respond and see any fires, did they? Don't know, Rene. I don't think the obvious North Star will have let any fires stay so get out of the end. I'm not sure. sure. Give me a break, Rene. You don't believe that. Come on, no. Anything else about the fire stands out? There was one thing. Yeah. The first image called made me a mention of smoke, but only cops showed up. Huh. The cops saw a sign of fire but didn't alert the fire department. Signs of past fire, right? If there are no flames and no cause for alarm, why would they call it in? I'll call it for what it is, neglect. Uh, the first one. I'm not entirely sure how they phrase it, but maybe they focus on something else during the call. Besides, it's not uncommon for us to be set out to deal with small fires every once in a while. There is no records. We usually don't omit that. Maybe it was done from a payphone or something anonymously. Or maybe it was omitted. I know that looks weird, but I'm pretty sure that's just standard procedure. There's usually some legal jargon that needs to be added to statement to cover all base. I'll take your word. Okay, I know you are interested in this part, so let's go over it. Tell me about when the cops showed up. Stone didn't want to let them in. That's usually the case. No one likes having cops show up in uninvited, much less have them under their homes. What's their reason for the office to be suspicious? But where is that? Mackenzie. Three bullets. It's not this one, right? Fire station debris. The brief. This one that has hours. So it was that hour before the 1 p.m. probably. Gas leak. No, it can't be this. Stone, stone again making threats. Is it this then? Ah, they smell smoke. Fuck, I didn't saw what the hell it was. Antagonistic. I don't know what the hell it is, but like I said, her name must be a little aware of the police showing up. And how did they enter? They breached. The guy was already really adamant about not letting people in. Uh, what was his reaction once people were inside? Now I, I know it was hostile. He threatened them. Uh, where is it? Wielding a yapon. That to certainly give them risk to draw on him. Unfortunately, it is then what? Cops if you get the kitchen. Alright, I think I can have this part. The first officer goes into the kitchen, hears a yell and comes back. Do you know precisely what happened in the hall? It was attacked. Stone attack second officer. Does he report specific how like I say insult and threat to the cop and then attack a sharp object? Alright, came at them with a yap and they respond with force. I'm sorry Rene, but these are according to the protocol. You say to yourself, Rene, you attack the ops first. So it will seem. 
You doing okay this whole thing, this whole case? It's a lot, isn't it? Uh, it's okay, I've seen worse. Well, try not to get used to it, Rene. It's not healthy. Chips away at your sanity. What about you? What do you make of it? Lucas is it coffee is it there? That was bad. I think this is an awful case. I think it's horrible. But I also think you are looking for something that isn't there. And maybe you are looking for someone to play. Uh, I'm just angry, I suppose. I know, you are empathetic. I'll be worried if you weren't angry. But as far as I can tell, Stone made his own bet. And what about the fire? Hene, I know it's awful, horrible, but I'm sorry. I don't see how they could have known or what uh, they could have done. I know it's bad, but it's just unfortunately. I think it's worse. Hey, let's just start a dinner, all right? Uh, dinner, all right? You have had a long day, I've had a long day. Let's just step away from this a bit, okay? Uh, sure. I'll get you noodles. Sure. So probably if I had correct, uh, it I will, he will be uh, like convinced that uh, because we will get everything correct. But you need to read all those papers and guess which ones. You failed to convince Lucas about your suspicions regarding the case. Look at this one, holy shit. Oh my god, how many lines there is in this one? Jesus. But in that you need to read carefully uh, about uh, the, the, the documents to know uh, how the fire started, at which hour, uh, and, and everything. So, yeah. Where the hell is this guy? What the fuck? He's doing exp experiments, what this looks like. August 14, still alive, believe it or not, believe it or not, no signs of radiation poisoning in either of us, and we still yet to endure one of those deadly gas storms that are supposed to plague the wastes in a, on a daily basis. Uh, I'm gonna say, I begin to think the danger has been overblown. To be fair, that's to be expected, according to George, no team HQ sent outside the wall has ever returned, which means our research on the air is extremely limited. I'm gonna say it's second. Sun's been ash lately, and it's been a chart to get any work done during the day. Uh, that said, I'm enjoying the field work. We don't really stray far away, far away f from the dig site. There's plenty of work to do, promising work. I'm getting the feeling we are about to come across something big. We are out here until we get results, whatever that means. I'm confident we will. I look at the site every day, the pods, the markings. I find myself wondering whether we should be here. Shorts less worried. He's out there right now. Today's the day. He told me this morning. He's been saying that all week. I really think it's appointments start to take toll. No, I'm gonna say the first one. He seems to be to see my academic background as shortcut. Out of paying your dues. Uh, let's say the second. Okay. Progress aside, the past few days have been strange. George mentioned a low hum from the dig site, and we've both been feeling unexplained unease. So, the trait idealist, I think it's our tools that are reaching with sedimentary chemicals in the pit, but the excavation will be over soon. Realist, more likely than not, we have been out here a bit too long and I'd start to get a little funny, scenic, the wasteland is supposed to be real with radiation, I'm surprised we are still alive, mm. scenic, I'm going for scenic, hell will be scenic from now on, I've been taught about just bailing and head back to the city, but hiking through the desert is a death sentence, I swear, it's like they put no thought into the deployment, the equipment they gave us is so general it's left us prepared for everything and nothing at the same time. The only redeeming fact is that we get to be a non autonomous, no oversight or endless paperwork, just school of fashion science. Woohoo! I almost forgot I had a look at some of my previous journal entries today. I I hate reading my whole notes, cynic. So many false and hasty conclusions. I know it's part of the process, but it's exhausting to go through. Part of me wants to get rid of everything I've ever written. At least then I will be the best version of myself I could be. 
gonna say it's second. Uh, suddenly a shiver runs up your spine, and you press the pen firmly against the journal. Somewhere outside the tent, you swear you can hear George calling out for you. Listen closely. He looks like he fell. There's another scream, more desperate this time. He sounds distressed. He looked like he fell or something? George, what's going on? Before I go out, let me check. I wish George would tie uh, his side on that. I will offer to do it, but he'll never agree. Where are you, George? I'm coming. George, are you alright? So now you can run. It's not run, it's walk faster. Nothing but rocky desert out this way. We are so far from city, I can't even see the wall. Our tools get caught by dust and sand, regardless of whether we put them away or not. Sometimes I wonder why we bother. This guy wait, George needs my help. No, he doesn't. Fuck George. Our solar steels are top of the line. We haven't seen rain in weeks, but still have plenty of drinking water. Dusty, need to clean this soon or give it a little struggle. So much stuff, and yet we still don't have everything we need. I'll kill for some fresh to eat. I'll be able to never touch another shovel in my life. Enter the dig. Is that George? Yes, it is. It's moving, Ellie. It's fucking moving. What is? The fucking thing, Ellie. Whatever is in the pod, it's slithering. Okay, it's bad. When I saw it whirling, I panicked and dosed it with cooling spray. It recoiled and retreated back into the pod, so that might do the trick. Then again, I don't want to open it again unless we have to. We got some cotton pods back, pack it up somewhere. Grab them as fast as you can, alright? Uh, we need that thing contained. We need to get some, uh, some pods. Containment pod, there we go. So basically it's starting to move whatever that is. Here, take this. Okay, I'm going to twist this thing open again and when I do I'm going to need you to hold the stair the container still. I'll twist it, drop it and you shut it. You got that? Here goes, you better be red. Twisting it now. Go. Try to see what's inside. Drop the content and shut it. Try to see. What little you you see leaves much to imagination in all doors ways. Once the content twists, open a pseudo pot clad in shiny black, perch itself on the edge, attempting to find another enough traction to exhibit its habitat. Try to get a closer look. George, what is that? Drop the content and shut it. There, got it. Got it. Let me check the pressure. Good, it's in there. Did, did you see that? No, I mean, I did, but we are not talking about that. Not yet, anyway. I need to catch my breath. My breath. Was that thing alive? Yeah, no, I don't know. We're not talking about it. Not just yet. Uh, what was it doing? I don't know, but we got it on the control now. Contain. These things are airtight. Whatever that is, it's staying put. Same as always, I guess. You lock it, we should probably give HQ a call. After that, I don't know. Alright, to get some rest, okay? Let me know what they say. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, we need to go on call HQ. I wonder if you could, like, try to see closer. But probably could escape. So, it probably wasn't the best idea to do it. I wonder. The also impressive HP bow boon 34 you have grown so familiar with over the past few months now seems rather weak and old. Behind it trails a long, heavily 
tail, and next will machine a stack of notes are held in place by a paperweight. The bundle of yellow and yellow notes is stacked as neatly as it can be. You wrote some of them, charged some others, another few still were written ages ago, it seems now by someone whose name you don't recall. Uh, let's see the charge notes. Many of the pages are simply numbers and doodles, but you start to find a few that pique your interest. Uh, August 1st. Okay. Potential radiation across. If the greater context of the note is missing, but it reads actions of radiation. Use no corrosives if needed force. Careful with parts and teal gloves only. You recognize the number as a frequency, but not for whom or what. Below is a doodle of a heart and the, the bottom of a note reads PS Ellie. If you are reading this, mind your own business. Pretend you didn't read that. Okay, my notes. There's not much in the way of interesting reading frequencies, maybe which are notes taken for during radio calls. Those have become more infrequent lately. Maybe the top scientists have given up on expeditions. Look at the cable. The cable lies heavy on the ground, covered with dust. Tracing it along the ground leads your gaze to similar dust cover Sol Pancho and George set up long time ago. Make a mental note to dust them off. You'll probably remember to dust them off now. It's a thankless job. Last time you spent half a day wiping them off, only for them to be covered next morning. If it weren't for this discovery, it all fell. Okay. Someone's got to do it. Check the damage. It will take more than a scorching sun and couple dust storms to dig through vulcanized harbor. Write something in the notes. You slide the paperweight onto the data pick to stubby. Major discover heading HQ. Can you write more? Wipe off the solar pa panels. The sun is unbearable, of course. Nothing out here remains except decay, the lone and level sands of stretch far away. Dial a frequency. So you can do this one, what the hell happens? Ah, you can't. This HQ review loud and clear, what's your stats? We found something. Copy that site 06, please describe the finding. I'm gonna lie. Copy site 06, please refrain from reporting on essential findings in future reports. Just just trying to be true out. You didn't inform HQ of your discovery. So I lied in this one. So we're gonna be cynic, so cynic is this one. Oh, look at that, I went over here. You avoid telling HQ about the artifact for time being. So basically lie. Oh, and it ends like that. Basically you play with all four and you give some, ch uh, you do some choice. Only to show how the game is gonna be, which I understand. But uh, yeah, it's very different from the... Uh, backbone, I'm gonna be honest, very different, very different in terms of this choice consequence that is gonna that you're gonna have to do, because backbone wasn't about that. Uh, like yes, there was something like you you could say uh, or or find some proofs, you know, things like that, but it didn't have that uh, that tree. You didn't have anything like that on backbone. It was more investigating than talking, saying something to be able to pass through some uh, ways or find another way to enter. In this one, it's gonna be about that tree, about the choice that you do. Uh, uh, then you can have consequence, or you're gonna be able to uh, uh, go to some place by choosing the traits that you want and what you do. But uh, looks interesting. Looks interesting. Uh, what they the path that they chose to uh, to do this uh, prelude of Backbone. Uh, so if you play Backbone and you enjoy it, then you should play the demo, this demo of Tales, the Backbone prelude. I think you're gonna enjoy, and it gives you uh, the idea of what the full game is gonna be. Uh, if you never play Backbone, I, I recommend to to play Backbone and 
of course play this then because uh, again it will give an idea of what uh, the full game is going to be all about so hope you guys enjoyed the demo and see you guys next time